Hey guys, uh, uh, today's video is um, how to raise your vibration, some steps that I take to really help me raise my vibration when I'm in a funky mood or I don't feel happy or I'm doubting things or if I'm concentrating on the negative. So here are some tips and I had to do the intro in a different outfit or I had to do the ending in a different outfit because for some reason I just kind of stopped on that video. I think I got hot or something and I lost my focus. So um, stay tuned. So you know we often talk about how we are spiritual energy beings. We run on energy and we are frequency beings and you have to be on a high frequency to a good high frequency to attract good things. Uh, kind of like a radio station. I get this from Abraham Hicks. Um, you know, you can't listen to the ball game on 92 FM if you have to be on 300 AM, right? You can't listen to this station if you're supposed to be on, you know, FM 102 if you're on, you know, 29 AM. Whatever, I'm just making it up. But you have to be in the right frequency to receive what you want. So, how do we make ourselves high in frequency? I wanted to share some tips with you on how I do this every day. Okay, so the first thing that I do, I definitely give thanks. I give thanks in the morning for little things that we all take advantage of, say being alive, um, be able to walk, be able to see, be able to hear, the electricity, turn my coffee pot on for the coffee, the money that we bought the coffee with, the quietness, the birds singing. I give thanks. This is very important. Give thanks for the most littlest things, which leads me to, I made a video on this. It really does help me. I will, as I'm walking, I will give thanks. Gratitude and love and thankfulness. I know I kind of said that in the thanking steps, um, but always thank the universe for the littlest things. Things we take for granted, you know, like the ice maker or the water that comes out of your fridge or your deodorant that you could just go buy at the grocery store or money that you found on the ground. The littlest things to the biggest things. Always give thanks. I'm driving to work. I look at people, I look at cars, and I send love and light. I send love and light, love and light. I imagine I'm this you know, powerful being and I'm sending love and light and it so works. I've been doing this, uh, it's a new thing to me. I've been doing it for the past, I don't know, three weeks I think and everything's been so phenomenal. I am coming from a better place, a place of love and I, I feel powerful and I feel this really works. Um, also, um, when I do get to work or if I'm in a place anywhere, even walking to my car or walking to my office, I say thank you every step I take. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, another thing I do is I'll see a picture of my husband and I in this certain picture and I say, you know, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will smile every time I answer the phone at work. This helps raise my vibration. I will um, give you an example of not giving love. This happened to me the other day and I was doing it all day. I was giving love, giving love. And as I went home, I went home a different way. I'm not sure why. I usually don't like to take this way. It's super busy. But I did. But I did take it and I'll tell you what happened. I didn't give love because here I am in a stream of cars, we're driving along, and there's like people on the side trying to get out into the stream of cars, you know, to get on with their life. But if it's moving, there's a green light and we're moving, we can't just stop and let people in because that's dangerous. So we had a car trying to get out, and well, first car didn't let him out, right? Second car didn't let him out, that car's like getting out. He wanted to jet out a little bit, and uh, the car on the main drag had to swerve out. I'm like, geez, is that guy really trying to get out in front of all these cars? Well, I'm not going to let him out either. That's not coming from a place of love. <laughs> of love. And I did that. So this is what happened. This is me. This is him over here. So I'm like, I'm not going to let you out either. And he's like, forget that. I'm not going to wait. So I had to slow down. He went, 
I had to slow down, I had to go around this way as he went. And then he flipped me off. But because I was in a high frequency already that day, I just, just, no big deal, no reaction, kind of laughed. I'm like, huh, flip me off, huh? That's because you're scared I was going to hit you. You shouldn't come out in front of traffic like that. But to me, I thought to myself, why did I attract that? Why? Because I was kind of being a little mischievous, like, well, I'm not going to let you out either. <laughs> That's not very nice. I could have slowed down a little bit more if I knew he was itching to get out, right? A little bit more. And I take responsibility for that because you come from a place of love. You will and attract love. So, more on how to raise your vibration. Concentrate and focus on good things. Do you ever have someone watch like the ER stories or these sappy sad stories or these horrible scary stories and they're just not in a good mood or they watch the news and they'll concentrate on what's going on in the world and they beat that drum of all this negativity? Not me. I go home and watch Big Bang Theory or I watch a Hallmark show or I watch YouTube and funny videos, right? Yeah. Raise your vibration with good. What do you focus on? Focus on good and love. Not negativity and all the crazy gas, excuse me, all the crazy stuff in the world going on because what you focus on, you will attract. Okay, you mean bury your head in the sand? Well, according to Abraham Hicks, yeah, essentially yes. Because do you ever notice people who walk around with this beautiful, silver lining cloud over them, you're like, what is going on with them? But then you see this other person who has this cloud with the gray, all this negativity, all this drama, all the time. Do you see that? Right. But what are they, what are they focusing on? What do they focus on? You'd be surprised. I remember a long time ago when I was little and we'd go to church, they would tell us, don't watch rated R movies, don't watch violent movies because you're inviting that into your home. And my husband and I feel the same way about, um, you know, like scary movies or, you know, uh, movies where they cut up people and murder them. I don't know. I, even if he watches some kind of show that has that, I'll just like put on my earbuds and watch something else because he doesn't understand and he's slowly understanding, but he doesn't understand what you focus on is what you attract. Now, okay. This is kind of a touchy area because I like to read, and I like to read fiction, and uh, I don't read like gory, horry books, but um, horror books, horry <laughs> horror books, but I like to read fiction, you know, um, like for instance, I'll read, you know, uh, Rick, 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 oh gosh, and um, this is Magnus Chase and the gods of Asgard, you know, and I'm sure there's battle scenes in there and stuff, and but I'm not like, I don't know how to explain this, or I'll read, um, you know, this, like, you know, La Vida Vampire, you know, it's fun, and it's um, fiction, and no one gets hurt, it's a happy ending, but it's just fun, so, you know, it's kind of an area specific, uh, it's a sensitive area with some people. People will be like, well, I'm not going to read anything like that. I'm not going to watch anything like that. Whatever works for you. But if you notice that bad things are coming towards you or you're attracting these weird things in your life, just kind of take it back. Take, just stop and ask yourself, what am I focus focusing on? What am I concentrating on? What am I worried about? What do I think about? What do I watch? What do I read? What do I have in the background? It, it really makes a difference. The way that I raise my vibration is I'll ask myself, you know, why does it always work out? What does it look like when things work out? Or why do I always have so much money at the end of the week? What does it look like to have this much amount of money in my bank account? I'll just say all these positive things and the universe has to show me. So I make sure my words are not negative I make sure how I ask a question is going to give me a good answer. So like a little trick. And for instance, you could say, why does my husband always like to take me on trips? 
or why is it I always get the best parking spot or what is the best parking spot or the other day I made a, a video and I asked the universe universe what would be a good title for this video and the universe I got the video boom boom I got the video up I had a title already I changed it and I changed it again and I got the best one I really like it and it's doing really well okay so that was the video and I do have one more tip um, another tip is to stay in the present and what I mean by that is stop thinking about the future what I'm gonna do tomorrow what is gonna happen next year what am I gonna do next month and stop thinking about the past oh my gosh that happened oh my gosh blah 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 right stay in the present and for me I do this by here's what I do as I'm driving I say okay there's whatever's in front of me I name it there's a white Toyota and a red Corolla in front of me there's no one behind me it's empty it's 2 45 p.m. whatever Monday whatever uh, the light is green you know I'll just like point things out and just be in the present being in the present is just that it's a gift it's present and I know I'm leaving something out I didn't write this down but those are the things that have helped me a lot and are still helping me so if you have any tips leave them below in the comments and if you like raising your vibration thumbs up and if you're interested in more videos like this please consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell if you want to be notified of one of my videos I try to make one every week for both of my channels but this is Marsha's mind so I'll just stick to that okay so thanks guys for tuning in have a great week bye bye